Hey, welcome to Richard Banker Web Design. Today I'm looking at JDownloads. And one of the issues on one of the projects I was working on was how can I get a direct file download like this? This special link here, I click on it, it opens up my PDF. So then I can just insert that into my content. By default, it inserts a block like this with you know all of this information in here and the layout is very ugly and I just needed to you know simply fit into text so that my user can just go along insert their stuff and it just drops right into the middle now there's a couple different things that you can do to get this working for you depending on how you want the final outcome to be and how user-friendly you want it to be so there's a uh, one is you just have the file name this is not the file name the second one is that you can actually create your own text here and so we're going to kind of brief over both of them the first thing you have to do is get things set up so we're going to create a category i created a general category so components j downloads create your category i assume you already have one because you're looking for this okay get that one out of the way uh, next, I got too many things open. Our file. Here we've got our file. Uploaded our file. It's ready. It's an active download. Good to go. Uh, third thing is a menu item. And find that right at the bottom here J downloads. Uh, take note of your menu item that you'll need later. So we've added our menu. So now on the home page or wherever it is when I go to Jane downloads and I open it up here we can see I have my general I have my file and I've gone to options and I've enabled the public or whoever you want to be able to find the file so that is live all ready to go good close and find the other one and close it uh, here in my configurations options J downloads I've allowed the public to download my files. Done. Close. Okay, so now we have to go to our plugins. And by default, this is Joomla 3. This is the Joomla 3 beta. Uh, button, J downloads content. I've enabled that. System, J downloads. I've enabled that. Content. I think this one's already enabled, but content, J downloads. I've enabled that one. Done. Close yet another window. So now we're going to be looking at how we actually change. So by default, in your components, J downloads, you've got your layouts. And your layouts control what is shown on the front. So whether it looks like this or it looks like something else. So when I go to my J downloads component, here I have my overview, this is my category. My listing, I would control how all of this looks within here. So in this case, I'm looking at files. And I've got a couple different ones here. So the standard files layout normally doesn't look like this. I've deleted absolutely everything in it except for the file title. If I just have the file title and I have to go to my downloads. Uh, this is back in J downloads in your configuration. Sorry if you have to stop this and restart it a couple times to see exactly what I'm talking about, sort of jumping all over the place. But this took me like a whole day to kind of get things figured out because it wasn't working for me for whatever reason. So hopefully this helps you out in some way. Uh, components, J downloads, configuration, all these options. We're going to do a couple things by default. First, activate direct downloading. Yes. That means that the URL download will, when you click on it, instead of going to the um, details screen where it just lists everything about it, it'll actually just start downloading. So that's what I wanted. I did that. Then on the front end, I went down to view download details page no use files title as download link yes so once again I don't want to show the details page 
and I want to use the file title as a download link. So by doing this in our layout, we have our file title. This will now be a download link. So when you go into your article here, and you say, OK, I want to include my file. I'm going to hit my download. Here's my download. I insert that. It inserts that there, and I hit Save. Now when I go to the front, now I've got default JDownload link, website help. So this is the name of my file. And that works. When I click on it, it opens up my opens up my file and I'm good to go. Very easy, very clean, very simple. Now, solution number two, what if I want it to not say the file name? What if my file name is something like a date or something weird that I have to name it that way, but I need this to say something else? Uh, this is the solution I've found so far. If you found a better one, by all means, leave it in the comments below. Uh, but this is one solution that I found. Uh, I'm going to leave this exactly the same. All I'm going to do is just move this down. And afterwards, I'm just going to type in my file name. So it's that and then my file name, and I'm going to hit save. At the same time, I'm going to go and I'm going to change. I've created a second layout file called Standards Files Layout. Um, and I'm just going to go over to that one. So I duplicated my standard file layout, and now I have with special URL. So what this one is, is this one is just a direct download URL. And let me quickly explain what I'm doing here. All I have is the first half of my A tag. So I have my reference index option. And this has to be uh, not search engine friendly. We need our actual um, URL. So this is what it is. It's index.php option jdownloads task download and then we're looking for ID and what we want to do is we want to insert the file ID shortcode in here and then we have our category ID and we insert the category ID shortcode after it and then this item ID is actually the menu item. I've tested it without the menu item ID and I don't think you actually need it but uh, by default it's included in the URL so I've included it here and this is the menu item ID of your uh, J downloads menu item so J downloads right here this menu item ID is what I have included right here and then target blank just so it opens and I don't have a closing tag First, in order to do this, to have my file name being separate and to make this whatever you want, you have this first half. Then you have to actually change your account to be uh, code me or something different than the editor, otherwise it will clean this up. Because we need the closing A tag. This will be the start, then you'll be able to put your file name in there and then you have to insert the closing tag and so this is a, a way around it uh, to still use J downloads it's definitely not a good solution for you know someone else who is uh, not familiar with coding if you're using it for a client or something it's it's not a way to go but it is it is a way to do it so there we have it uh, that That is a way to add a custom link with a custom file name into JDownloads uh, automatically. Questions, comments, leave them below. If you have a better solution, I'd love to hear it. Uh, thanks for watching all this. I hope it's been helpful. Have a great and awesome day.
And now when we look at the front, we can see that we have our default J download link, my file name all by itself. And so this is custom. You can name it whatever you want. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's just not quite as clean uh, as I wanted it to be, but it does work.